Okay, next we're going to take a look at item effects or take effects in Reaper. Now in Reaper, we have the ability to put effects or plugins right on our media items instead of putting them on our tracks. This makes it a bit more flexible as instead of automating the track to have different effects on different parts, we can just put them on different items. It's a lot more flexible and much easier to do. So let me show you how do we add effects to items? We have a string part here. Let's hear it. And let's say we wanted to add an EQ or a filter to the string part. We would select it, go to the item menu, under take, and choose show effects chain for active take. If we choose that, this opens up where we can add plugins or effects right to our item. And it's the same dialogue as adding it to our tracks. We could also do it by right clicking the item, go to the take menu and choose it here. Show effects chain for active take. But my favorite way to do it is based on the key command, shift E. So select the item, hit shift E, and it opens right up. We can go to our favorites, choose an EQ, and now this EQ is on this item. And we can see it by looking right here. It says effects, re EQ on the strings. Now the name is based on the plugin. So, like in the track effects video, we could rename it. We could click here to open it, right click it, and rename the instance. So, if we're going to use it as a high pass filter, we can name it that way. So, now if you look over here, it says high pass filter. So it's a lot easier to see what the effect is doing on this item. So let's adjust that effect. Open it up. It's a high pass. Let's solo it. And let's adjust it. Before. And after. Now the reason that I put this on this item instead of on the track is I want it to be there just for a part of the song. At bar six, I want it to go back to not being filtered. So we could do this by selecting over here, hit S to split it, and see the effect is there too, but we could delete it. Hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and that removes the effect from this item but it's still on over here. So it's gonna transition from a high pass filter to no filter right in this area. So let's hear that. Now it's a little bit dramatic as it switches, but we can adjust that in a bit. But before I show you that, I wanna show you one other trick. Let's delete this, and let's pretend we had the filter on the track effects. So we'll add it again, but this time on the track. And now let's say we realized we prefer it on the item. We could open it up right here, and then drag and drop it right on the item. Just grab from here and drop it. And now it's on that item. But it's also still in the track effect. So we could delete it from here. Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and now it's gone and it's here instead. Now to make that transition smoother, and one of the benefits of putting a plugin or an effect on the item is we can crossfade it. With crossfades turned on over here, we can simply trim back, and now it's going to fade from the effect to no effect. Or if we had two different effects, it would crossfade from one to the other. But right now, we're just turning it off. Let's change this curve to this one, 
to be a bit more dramatic. Now the effect is bypassed on this side. So it's a great way of transitioning from different sounds, from this side to this side. And we could drag it and drop it on our other tracks as well. So let's split our kick and our hi-hat. And let's put the same effect on these items. Open it up and just drop it on our hi-hat and the kick. We'll create the same crossfade. Let's change our curve. And now all the tracks start off with a high pass and slowly crossfade to no high pass. So you can see how flexible and customizable this can be. Instead of automating our effects, on the track, we can put them on the items and crossfade and have different effects for each item. And it's based on takes. So if you really wanted to, we could duplicate this take and have different effects on each take. So this one could be a low pass instead. while this take is still a high pass. Switch takes. So it's a great way of trying out different effects and just choosing the right one for your needs. Either a high pass, or low pass. So anyway, that's item effects or take effects in Reaper. Let's move on. Mom?